Welcome back to the channel and today we're at Crosby Beach photographing these statues of Iron Man by artist Anthony Gormley. There's over 100 statues placed along a two mile stretch of Crosby Beach, Merseyside and I can't wait to get down there and start photographing them. They really are a thought provoking experience and one I want to try and capture within an image. So today we've come to, or this afternoon, we've come to Cosby Beach to photograph these young men. This one's um, short, we'll call him Neil. This is Neil, and um, we're going to photograph them. But there is actually loads of them. First time I've been here, there's one out, right out in the water there. Apparently there's loads and loads. This is number 21, so there's definitely 21 of them. Um, it's still a little bit as you can see a bit bright at the moment but um, we're going to get set up and we're going to get some long exposures and we we'll stop until sunset which to be honest with you is a long way away well that's the plan anyway I'm looking forward to this it should be good and not only that we're going to get some um, nice coloured reflections it's not just about these these men on the beach it's about the the reflections we're going to get in the sand and things like that and and we've come it's high tide at four o'clock it's five o'clock now and then we're going to be we're going to basically follow the the water out as well and try and get some nice reflections that's the plan i'll catch you shortly when we uh, we get the camera out now as you can see i've got the appropriate footwear on in case we get jellyfish sting <laughs> it's the first time i've ever been out with a camera with my crocs what's going on what's going on in the world I'll tell you what the water it's warm. It's warm. I hate cold water. I don't know about you, but I hate cold water. It's warm. It's nice. Yeah, so that's that's it really. It's uh, there's not a lot else. What we will be trying to photograph is these lovely reflections. Let me try and show you reflections at the moment. At the moment it's not working, but you can still see at some point that is gonna work. Let's turn this way. So again, nice, nice big flat beach with these nice reflections. So that should work at some stage. Um, a nice bit of light in the sky, but it is, again, it's going bluer and bluer and bluer. And really, we didn't want that. But hey it is what it is. And we'll still have some fun doing it. I'll tell you what, the Dockland looks um, looks pretty impressive as well. I don't know if you see the Dockland in the, where is it, in the background here somewhere. That's pretty impressive from here. I know you can see that over from um, from New Brighton because I've been over there before. And uh, yeah, actually, I might uh, lock a sandbank here, and I might actually walk. Mind you, I'll have to get my camera out if I do first because there's nowhere to put it down. But I actually think we're going to go walk along until we find probably the right one at the right time, and then try and photograph these men in the surf. We start to get a real nice reflection of this one geyser in the water. Um, so, and that's what I like about this image at the moment, but it, we, we're too bright at the minute, we are really just playing. So I've gone portrait mode, getting the reflections in the water of this, this statue. Um, looking out towards sea and I'll probably get rid of the horizon as well don't know yet but I might do but I do like the reflection uh, and in the next 5, 10, 15 minutes it'll work better and better because the sea's going beyond him now uh, so let's see if that one's worked because I think it's going to now I like that I like that this is really the only sort of shot at the moment I could see um, if this was at sunset wow and the good thing about this statue it's just pointing towards us we can just see his front and if we do move over we'll actually get more of him now which we can do and that's why we've got the appropriate footwear on so i can get into that water Okay, so obviously as we're moving out the sea, we're getting more of the front of the, the statue, which I prefer. 
prefer to be honest um, especially with that light hitting it now we've got people walking by I'll just remove them mate bother about that but the only the only one I want one is someone sort of directly behind them and I'm not moving We're on his way back down. The light is really kicking off now, so and we've about still got about two hours to go, but the cloud formation has come over and it's looking spectacular. One sort of disadvantage is the sea's gone. It's not just gone out, it's gone out out. Um, but I think it's still gonna work because it's gonna leave these little puddles of water, and that's all we need to for reflection. So if we just pick one, it's got a nice bit of water surrounding it within the money. Okay, so we're back out. It's now mud flat. <laughs> uh, thank God I changed my footwear. I thought I'd done the wrong thing, but I think I've done the right thing by putting my boots on because I'd, I'd have lost my croc. I'd have been a croc down. And that wouldn't be good at all. Um, but we're getting some fabulous light and we've still got good hour and three quarters and we get some lovely golden light whether it's because it's coming diffused through the clouds there but it really is bloody beautiful I'm not so keen on the top bit so this first this image that I've took I'll probably crop it down to a 16 by 9 to be honest um, or I could even go in a little bit closer maybe and could potentially put this the statue on the right hand third might again might have to move over a bit but I'm just going to keep changing it keep working it until I feel as if I've got a composition that I really like and again um, get closer in with the lens go, go into about 70 mil or come wide open the only thing I don't want to do is leave footprints if I go closer to it that's for all of us because we're all shooting the same one. There is another one behind that looks pretty, pretty interesting as well. Um, but we're just trying to get in the right position to get this lovely light. I'll tell you what is nice, the, um, the wind farm, it's got some lovely cloud and light behind it. It's really nice to be honest. But I've just changed the lens. I don't think it's going to work with the 70mm. It'll be too far away. Let's have a look. You know what, I quite like that. Quite like it because it's really minimal with that, that wind farm there. Might be a quick, quick grab of that. Yeah, look at that. Great. Needed wellies, that's what we need, wellies. So let me just go over this composition I've got with you and how I've set it up and I'll just show you on the back of the camera with the grid and I don't know if you can see the grid but I've got the the statue right on that right hand third and then I've set the the horizon on the top right hand third there so everything's just right I've got this bit of a puddle in the bottom here these lovely reflections and the lovely sky there we have got a little we have got a couple of little hot spots which I'm hoping to get rid of definitely going to bracket the shot I'm looking at the Instagram to try and get it as even as possible. Focused on the statue. And then I'm bracketing the shot as well. F16, 125th of a second, ISO 100.
but I think I'm going to head over to one of these ones. Apparently it's quite muddy over that one, but I think I'm going to head over to here and see see how bad it is. The only thing I don't want to do is actually put my bag on because it's a right mess. It's an absolute right mess. But there's nothing we can do about it. Just just got to thank God we've put us waterproofs underneath the, the bag to protect it. Um, but when we get home, it's going to need a serious, serious clean. Uh, but this cloud formation we got is looking, let me try and show you. Just look at that, look at that. Look at that, what we got. Oh, it's just a little bit too bright at the minute. We've still got another hour before sun sets. So another half an hour before we get that, that real golden light. But at the moment, it's quite, as you can see, that, that's quite golden colour as it is. So it's really diffusing through the, through the cloud there. And the, the sweeping cloud formation is just making it even better. But I feel as if I've really clattered that, that that statue um, took some sort of minimalistic shots, some wide angles, some right close. I found one where we've got the silhouette perfectly in within a puddle, done that shot, zoomed in and, and tried to do some something totally different. Um, but I, I feel as if I need to sort of, even if it's moved to another one, I know they're, they're all the same, but the water around it won't be. The positioning won't be so it might just work better it might be worse but i think it's worth a little a little trek over in the mud just to see and that's what i'm gonna do yeah might as well let's do it let's do it There we go. Okay, let's go walk, see if we can get something different. And if not, we can always come back. I'm actually really glad I'm come over to this one because we're getting some nice side light on both the legs and up, up the arm there. So it's giving it a, a fair bit of contrast to the uh, to the statue. So I really like it from this side, where we didn't I didn't really work that one from that side. It didn't seem to work for some whatever reason, but this one seems to. Maybe it's because the water's behind it as well as a reflection. So that that could work. But I, that's what I like about this one with that not that nice side light. So it just shows it's worth just trying the different ones because they are just the statues the same but where they are the situation the water around it is different so it's well worth a little little walk around even though it's muddy bring you well is i've moved around to the back of this this statue which i know i've lost that side light but the reason why i like it is is because i've got the statue on that that left hand third put in portrait um and then in the distance we've got another statue right in the distance and then we've got the wind turbines behind but it's really that other statue which is on on the the top right hand third right on the crosshair of the top right hand third so i quite like like that we've got a nice um got a nice reflection in the water there the cloud base is nice behind so that that does look really nice i like that quite like the composition on that so again it's still worth literally circling the the statue so we're probably coming into that that special time that we all pray for that golden hour the clouds are disappearing a fair bit but i still think we're going to get some eye cloud but i've come around here and i've probably took my favorite shots so far and it really was plonk it down let's have a look shot we've got these lovely patterns in the sand but it's being side lit the, the patterns in the sand are being side lit this nice golden light but we've still got this blue blue cloud blue cloud blue sky with this puffy clouds in the background so we've got that warmth and that cold if you like that blue and that them them yellow tones and we're getting side light on the on the statue and I like how it's it's casting on. You can just see both legs, so it gives it that definition of a 
as a human, as a person. I, I like it more than actually the reflections in, in water. But I like, I like, and the patterns just draw you into the, the statue as well. Um, so the statue is on the right in the centre, on the top third of the image. And then these lovely patterns running into it with these lovely sky reflections. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I think we are done. We have got a bank of cloud across the horizon and I think it's snubbed it out. We, this could explode on that second blush, if you like. Uh, such a shame, really. But I'm not disappointed at all. I had a wonderful time. And I think I've got some good images. There's one or two I'm really looking forward to having a look at but until next time i hope you've enjoyed this if you do come down to this beach bring your wellies and your kit is gonna get <laughs> your kit is gonna get or take your shoes and socks off come in barefoot your kit's gonna get messy so be prepared for that put the cover on your bag so you can put it down and we've been out here for now we've been out here for two hours photographing the sunset it's hard work especially with the knees of oh, cheese okay hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching i'll see you soon i don't know where i'm walking to <laughs> we're, we're over there <laughs>